and you search for the top 20 questions. Now, we've done the introduction to herbology. Let's take the top 20 questions. Remember that if you miss any question, I promise you I'm going to blow you. I will look for you. Are you set? Let's start. The first question here says that, what is the term for the developing individual during the first two months or eight weeks of intrauterine life? The word intrauterine life means before birth, right? Within the uterus. Option A says it's called the fetus period, neonates, embryo, zygotes. <laughs> Choose your answer, guy. What is the term for developing individual during the first two months? Have you chosen your answer? We can pause, choose. But listen to me. We say that there are three stages. We have the zygote stage, which is zero to two weeks. And we have what we call the embryonic stage, which is from our third week to your eighth week. Eighth week is also the same thing as what two months. Because eight week, two months. Because four weeks make one month. And we also have what to call the word the fetal. Fetal is what ninth week to your ninth month. Of course, making what embryo to be what the answer. Did you get it? If you lie, if you lie, if you lie, if you lie, you get it. So options C becomes the answer. Let's take the next question. The question says, okay, let's see the question. The question says true or false. True or false. The male gonad is also called the ovary. <laughs> is that correct? Is the male gonad also called the ovary? No, the male gonad is wrong. This is what false. Let's see the next question. The question says fertilization occurs in the uterus. Choose. Is that statement correct? That's also what false because fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube. Which aspect of the fallopian tube? And pull out the fallopian tube. So it doesn't take place in the uterus, it takes place in the what? Fallopian tube. That is first. The next question says that gametogenesis refers to the process of organ formation. Gametogenesis, is that correct? No. Gametogenesis refers to the process of the formation of your word gamete, not organ. Also what first. Are you seeing that? Let's take the next question. True or false? The fertile period extends. Fertile period from first week to eighth week of fertile life. Fertile period, where does it extend? We said that fetal period extends from what ninth week to your ninth month. So this is also what first. Did you get it? If you lie, don't lie. Be sincere to yourself. Success is internal. Be sincere to your word to yourself. Let's take the next question. What number are we now? Matching question. Okay, let's match. Number six. Match the terms to its definition. Okay, ontogeny, phylogeny, differentiation organizers okay evolutionary history complete life cycle okay let's match them on two gen what's into gen on two gen is simply let's look for option is say evolutionary history of an organism complete life cycle of an organism Qual qualitative changes in the structure for an assigned function any part of the embryo is that is stimulus first of all ontogeny talks about Pre natal and post natal, that's complete cycle. So, number one is B. So, this is peer to B. Now, what about phylogeny? Phylogeny talks about uh, what's phylogeny? Evolutionary history. B. So, number two is A. So, we can bear this to A. Say number two. A. We have differentiation. What is differentiation? We said that uh, differentiation simply, let's see. We have chosen A. We have chosen B. So what's now left between C and D? C say qualitative changes in the structure for an assigned function. D say any part of the ovary is that is tumorous on the adjacent word part. Of course, differentiation means you are differentiating, you are changing in structure depending on your assigned function. So number three will be what C. Of course, organizer will be number four, Abi. Number four will be what D. So take the water organizers. These are any part of the embryo that is at stimulus on adjacent parts. We're going to talk about this as we travel. I didn't actually talk about this, but I brought the question to catch you. Quickly, let's move to the next question. Number 
The question multiple response. Okay, what now means multiple response means you can have more than one answer. They say what are the stages in prenatal development? Pre implantation, postnatal, embryonic, fetal. What are the stages? There are three stages. So A is one of the stage. Because they say we can choose multiple response. Two, C is part of the stage, and three, D is part of the stage. Postnatal is not part of the word of the stage. Do you understand that? Let's see the next question. The question says, place the following event in order during their pre-implantation period. You know that what arrange the events. Cleavage, implantation, blastocyst formation, fertilization. Option A says 4132, B says 1234, 4312, 2413. What's the first thing that happened? Pre implantation. Fertilization will take place first. After that, it starts to undergo what cleavage. So 41. After that, what did that happen? Is it blastosis formation or implantation? Of course. It is blastosis because what needed to be implanted is this is a blast and it comes from blastosis word formation. So blastosis word formation. And this will be the last stage. That's 413 to 413 to making option A to be the answer. Do you understand that? Please hope you have not missed anyone. The next question says uh, true or false question. The zygote is a single cell organism from fertilization. Is this single or double? Of course. What's the answer? Single, so it is what true. Number 10. Postnatal developmental period in only includes neonatal. No, it does not include neonatal. It includes neonatal. Talks about um, after neonatal, we we'll talk about your childhood. Is that correct? After childhood, we talk about your your puberty, adolescence, adults, or this. So it does not involve really that. So that's first. Because it says involve only no. Let's take the next question. The question says, place the following period of postnatal development in the sequential period. Mm. Childhood, adult, old age, puberty. Now, let's arrange them. What's the first thing that comes? The first thing that comes between all first, we have childhood, that's A. A B? From childhood, what do we have? Childhood, all after childhood, what do we have? We have puberty. Right? After puberty, what comes? Adulthood. Adulthood has come, followed by your what? Your own age. So childhood, puberty, adulthood, old age. I hope you see that that's the correct word, sequential word arrangement. Let's see. How many stages do we have in your prenatal? Let's say there are three. What are the stages? Number one, we'll talk about your what are the stages? Zygotes, which is zero to two weeks. Zygote is also called your what? Your pre-implantation or your pre-embryonic. Talk about your M. Bryonic stage. What's the weeks there? Three to eight weeks. Don't forget. And number three, we talk about your word fetal. Ninth week to nine months. So those are the three word stages. I hope you understand that. Let's see the next question. Question 13. Asserting. As okay, assertion. Stem cells are all differentiated cells, capable of giving rise to more cells of the same type. Okay. Reasoning. Okay. <laughs> there are two types of stem cells, embryonic and adult or somatic. Option A say both assertion and reasoning are true, and reasoning is correct explanation for assertion. Both assertion and reasoning are true, but assertion is the correct explanation for assertion. Assertion is true, but reasoning is false. Both assertion and reasoning is false. First of all, is assertion correct? Assertion is true because stem cells are all differentiated, capable of giving rise to. Right? Now, what is the reason? Reasoning, there are two types of yes, we have a brownie. So assertion is true, reasoning is true. And if you watch, as reasoning explains assertion because assertion say there are two types of reasoning. 
there are two types of stem cell. So option A say both assertion are using are true. Yes, and reason is the correct. Yes, making option A to be the word the correct answer. Do you understand? That it's just a logical question, assertion, and what we call word reason. Let's take the next question. The question says the neonatal period extends from 28 day to birth. Neonatal. Is that correct? Neonatal. Yes. Neonatal infant. Is it infant? This is correct because neonatal. This is the truth for what neonatal. Are you mean it extends from 20 days to what? To birth. Do you understand that? Let's take the next question. The question says, what is the defining characteristics of totipotent cell? Hmm. Formation of embryonic and extra embryonic, limited cells of differentiation, tissue specific nature, differentiation into only one type of cell. Totipotent. Yes, what's the answer? Totipotent means total. So it is the formation of embryonic and extra embryonic. That's the embryo and the placenta that making option a to be the word the correct answer do you understand that formation of both embryonic and extra embryonic cell let's see the next question question 16. not true or false okay embryonic stem cells are present only during postnatal development embryonic stem cells are present only during postnatal is that correct this is wrong. We say that what remember we have to talk about stem cell, embryonic stem cell and adult. Embryonic stem cell <coughs> are present from the pre-developmental world stage. So this is what false. And let's see the next question. Adult stem cell remain tissue specific all through their lifestyle. For you to be an adult means you are both differentiated. So they are tissue specific all through their lifestyle. So what's the answer? The answer becomes so what? Did you get it? If you lie, I explain. Somatic or adult stress, this one is the main tissue specific. That means they have specialized now and they, have, they are now neurosurgeons. They are not, you know, I told you I gave a decision of medicine. When you read medicine, and you now specialize. Number 17 is that match the step cell with its characteristics. To the potent stem cell, multipotent stem cell, unipotent stem cell, pluripotent stem cell, the potent stem cell. But give me guys the information of extra embryonic, limited types of cell, only one types of cell, all types of cell. This is the next match to the potent, which is A. So it forms embryonic, and that means one is to A. So let's say one A. Right? Let's see, see, limited to types of cell. Which one is limited to types of cell? Limited to types of cell. I'm waiting for you. Limited to types of cell is your words. You're, you're limited to types of cell. That means different types of cell. That's talking about your word multipotent. You should know that too. Your two is your P. C said unipotent. Only one type of cell. Uni means only one type of cell. That's three. So three. Is three potent all cells of the body, but not yes. Now, and that means all of them are arranged accordingly. Four is given as your word as your D, and only one category that's oligo. Five, did you get it? Let's take the next question. The question says, extend matching questions. Extended matching question. Select the correct subdivision of embryonic embryology of each description. Comparative embryology, systemic embryology, experimental cytology. A says description involves okay. Let's see. Comparative anatomy. Say which one is compared to another option? One said involves the study of embryonic stages of during pre and okay. Is that correct? Comparative. We are seeing on comparative study the origin and development of various systems concerned with your congenital disorders and birth defects. Comparative study of embryology and different as we can say four is A. Am I correct? Yes. Are you following me? Do you get it? Systemic embryology is involved the study of various systems. That means two is B. 
What about experimental biology? Experimental embryology. Study the origin and development of various known is consigned no consigned with your congenital experimental involves embryonic and no studies origin and development concerned with congenital disorders comparative and that the next one is what we call we can't find because experimental technology talk about the effect of drugs right so we can't find anyone there what about tetralogy consigned with defects so three is to d but what about experimental embryology we have chosen a we have chosen by a four comparative in different anime. systemic we are choosing systemic systemic has to do with various systems study of the origin and development of various systems yes that's systemic technology has to talk about this or that one well, what is left there is about the study of embryonic stages and pre-embryonic stages experimental embryology no talk all talk about um, embryonic stages and pre-embryonic stages what are we talking about talking about your general word embryology so uh, experimental embryology talking about involves the study well unless we are saying uh, one is to see but that's not totally correct but that's only what is left because that's this is question we have to do these are past questions so you should know what to choose now let's see the 19 by your chemical and molecular aspect in embryology involves the study of gene sequencing and that true of us of course you should know that that's very well true and that brings us to the last question the question says sequential ordering questions okay arrange the following stem cells in order of development in differential potential arrange them okay what's the first there the first there is called your word to the potent which is b after the potent what should come to your mind pluri that's e After plurimulti, that's M multipotent. After multipotent, what should come to your mind? I'm waiting for you. Oligo, right? And after that was left a unipotent. So these are the arrangements. Your pluripotent, pluripotent, multi oligo. And that brings us to the, this is just the introduction of the brand. You can see that with this, your brain is already set. Are you set for embryology now? Next class, let's go proper. I hope you enjoyed the class. I hope you gone through the past questions. I hope you didn't miss anyone. If you enjoyed the class and you have not subscribed, please press the subscription button and download the learn lift app so you can practice CBT notes and you can also get the video. All you need is in the learn lift app. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Watch as you expect my next class. See you in my next class. See you. Peace out.